Well, thank you for joining us for our complimentary gathering where we are going to answer um, maybe some common questions that we get during the week or any questions that have been submitted to us. And we can also cover um, just some updates, um, things that are going on here at the firm that can um, affect either our clients or potential clients. And we'll cover that as well. So I should introduce myself. I'm Erin Burt. I am the attorney and mediator here at the law firm of Erin Burt, also called Burt Law. And I'm joined with my other team members who I'll let them introduce themselves in their role. Sure. Hi, everybody. My name is Tyler Burt. I am the office manager and paralegal here at the firm. Hi, everyone. My name is Karen Hansel, and I'm the administrative assistant at the firm. All right, thanks for joining me, you guys. Um, I wanted to start off with just some news and updates about the firm. Uh, for the last 20 years, I have um, practiced as a guardian ad litem and a family law mediator in DuPage County. And to explain that a little more, there are approved lists that you can be on to be uh, categorized as a qualified mediator or a qualified guardian ad litem. And I've been on that list for 20 years now here in DuPage County, and I've really valued the work that I've done with children and parents um, that are court ordered to mediation to work out their parenting plans. And the announcement I have is that I am now on the same approved list, but in Kane County, and that's the 16th Circuit Court here in Illinois. And um, I was very pleased to learn last week that um, the uh, chief judge for the Domestic Relations Division in Kane County um, you know, valued my experience and approved me to be on their guardian ad litem approved list. That means I can be appointed by a judge for parenting or divorce cases in Kane County. And again, that's, um, that's where I will investigate the uh, best interests of the child or children involved in a family law case. And the judge also approved me to be on the mediators list. So if parents are filing a divorce or they're filing a parentage case, and within a certain amount of time, they're not able to resolve their parenting decision um, issues or parenting time issues, the judge can order them to mediation. They would then come to me and we would work on those issues within about, on average, a three hour time frame. So I'm really excited to be on that list. I welcome Kane County uh, cases and I look forward to working with the families in Kane County in those different capacities. So I think that's okay. something great for the firm. And I think that's great for um, getting more involved in, in, in family law in Kane County. Yep, that's great. for sure. So, so that's the only update I have for this week. I know we've been getting some questions as spring is starting and people are starting to reach out and contact us about either starting their case or learning more about the firm. And so I thought we could field two questions today, um, one from Karen and one from Tyler, so that uh, hopefully the answer to the questions can, can give anybody listening the uh, benefit of the information. And if you do have a follow-up question, feel free to reach out to us either by email or calling the firm, and uh, we can address your question at another complimentary gathering. But perhaps, Karen, you know, do you have any questions that, that you have fielded this week that we can cover today? Yeah, thank you. Actually, it goes along with the, the update that you provided on the firm. Um, we, this is a common question I get from either or both parties when we get assigned a guardian ad litem case. Um, they're, they're anxious to start, they're part of a process. It's awful, often a brand new part of their process that they're going through. And the, the question is, well, how do I prepare for that first meeting with Aaron? What do I need to bring? How do I need to show up and um, make it, you know, make our time together productive? And yeah, that's a great question. And I, I'm sure it crosses every parent's mind. It, it's not common to work with a guardian ad litem unless you're involved in a, in a divorce or parentage case. And I would imagine it, it, it um, raises a lot of questions. And so how to prepare for that first interaction or first meeting with a guardian ad litem. If you're not working with an attorney, it can be overwhelming. If you are working with an attorney, hopefully that attorney is, is giving you information about my role as the guardian ad litem. Um, and, and perhaps that attorney will want to prepare you for organizing your parenting issues to share with me. But not every attorney does that. 
Um, so what I would say in order to prepare for your first meeting with me, I would, you know, I would just review um, any information you've already shared with your attorney or review any pleadings that are before the court so that you can summarize to me what you believe to be the main issues for your parenting case. I also want to point out that first meeting with me is, is a casual meeting. It's an opportunity for us to see each other, for us to learn a little bit more about each other. And it's an opportunity for me as the guardian to hear from the parents their point of view about what's going on. I like to hear about you know, the background of your family and relationship. I like to learn a little bit more about the child or children. And I get that directly from a parent when we first meet because I review, even before that meeting, I review the court file. I review the information submitted to me by the attorneys, but that's just the written word. And that is filtered through what's relevant to the judge or to the court process. And it doesn't give me the full picture. So that first meeting with me, I really want to learn directly from the parent a little bit more about you, a little bit more about your family life, a little bit more about your children. And then ultimately, I'd like to hear from you, what are your goals? You know, what is your hope for your children and, and the outcome of anything that's pending in front of the judge? Um, and then lastly, if there's any urgent matters, I'd like to learn about that so I can start prioritizing my investigation and what I need to do at the start of my investigation. So there's not necessarily um, a formula for how to prepare, but just know it'll be a conversation where I'm learning a little bit more about you, your kids, your goals, and hopeful outcomes. Thanks. That, help. that helps a lot. Thank you. Thank you. And Tyler, you know, we have time for one more question. Um, is there any question that is coming across your desk that you think would be helpful to the listeners? Sure. I think uh, a question that we get, and um, I know you get a lot, is uh, will other people be working on my case? And, you know, the, the answer to that question is yes. In our firm, you know, um, you, Aaron, obviously as the responsible attorney are, are working on every case. Um, my role as a paralegal, um, I generally work on our uh, divorce cases with, that involve financial matters um, and, you know, uh, help and assist in GA matters as needed. And Karen, you know, handles all of the intake and scheduling and phone calls, um, you know, from clients, existing clients, potential clients, um, you know, and attorneys, um, you know, so, so yes, you know, I think, I think the question is um, for clients or they're worried or concerned who is going to be working on billing on the case, you know, and while that is a concern, you know, it is um, something that uh, helps uh, streamline the case uh, by having all of us work on it uh, and not just leaving it to one individual. And, you know, while so it seems like a lot of people could be billing, you know, it generally overall tends to bring the cost down, you know, in the long run. I would agree. I mean, we have a team effort here. If I'm not available, Tyler or Karen will be available. They'll be able to get you in touch with me. Um, and, and just to add on a little bit to that, if I may, one of the benefits of working with a, a, a solo practitioner or, or a one attorney firm is I will work with you directly on your case from beginning to end. Um, some of the larger firms, uh, there's pros and cons to working with larger firms, but you might meet with somebody for your initial consultation and then you're assigned to somebody to handle the remainder of your case. And that person, um, you know, they might just be out of law school. They might have to um, still have a couple more years of experience and they're handling your case. They probably can do that, that well. Um, however, at my firm, I use my 20 years of experience and I work on every aspect of your case directly and I oversee the case if there's anything that Karen or Tyler are working on. Um, but I will be your, your point of contact. I will be your uh, representative and any questions that you have, like I said, if I'm not available, um, 
you can email me, you can call me, I'll get right back to you within a day. And if needed, Karen's available. She can always field questions. Um, if it's something that is more uh, legal based or something particular to your mediation process or your GAL case, she'll get in touch with me and I will follow up with you. Um, but yes, we have a team approach here on all of our cases, but I am the attorney and the mediator that works directly with you on everything. So I think we're out of time today. I want to thank both of you for being here. I want to thank um, those that are attending and listening. Again, if you have any questions for us or if you have any topics you'd like us to discuss, please let us know. You can contact us through our website at bertlaw.com. You can give us a call at 630-891-2478, and you can watch other complimentary gatherings on our YouTube channel, um, which you can find under our social media tab on our website. So thanks again. And until next time, have a good week. Thanks Bye. All. Bye, everybody.